Property Lane Brothers is back at King Fort Water Bay. Mega project of 1,165 units. One of the only two Trata Semiti, closest proximity to the Sungai Shuangun with a nature view. With 100k of renovation spent into this place. I think you got to love this. Please stop filming. Filming is very tough. Try one more time. Property Lane Brothers is back at King Fort Water Bay to bring you one of the only two Trata Semiti in this project. If you love nature and salinity that greets you when you're back home and with a total span of 100k by current owners, let's check it out. King Fort Water Bay is located at Aukang region along the stretch of condominiums along Upper Shangun View. In terms of condominium in the area, you have the Florida which is completed in the year 2000 followed by Rio Vista, Huron Bay and Boathouse residences. So being said that, King Fort Water Bay is the newest among this whole entire stretch. This project houses 1,165 units spreading across 9 16 block towers that are made up of 1 to 5 bedrooms, strata terraces, and strata semis. The project is of a 99 leasehold in nature with the lease starting from 2014 and was completed in year 2018. And the reason why people love King's Hot Water Bay is because of the amount of facilities it has offers in this project. As you have your park connector just right beside you, this leads you to Coney Island with just under 20 minutes cycling. You also have your Pongo Park which is a well-known park among the residents nearby to have your recreations. So the total size for this house is 1593 square feet and comes comprised with 3 bedroom, 3 bathroom and 2 loft concept that's inbuilt in this house. And you have a nice size balcony, good size living room, open plan dry kitchen and also an additional enclosed kitchen. So now let's start from the car porch. This house comes with a private parking lot which is very convenient located just right outside your house. And for the semi ds in this development, you have two parking spaces so if you have two cars, you need not worry about parking spaces at all. And this house has also a storage space that is very convenient for you to put all your bulky items. And so upon entering the foyer, you have this DB box for you to put in your routers neatly. So moving ahead, you have this longish shoe cabinet. I think it can fit in tons of shoes right over here. It comes fitted with a marble top and this is suitable for you to place your family photos, personal collections or even your car keys when you enter home. So on my right is the powder room. This serves the guests in this level 1 because this is a two-story strata semi D and on this level you still have your bathroom that is very conveniently utilized for your guests. I would like to show you this very nice compartment and I think the ID did a fantastic job. This would be the bomb shelter of the house and it has a double volume. It has a helper's room that is in place right at the top and it's neatly tucked away. So you also have this additional cabinet trees to cover the household door and this also serves you as a backup storage space also. And for the living and dining room, you have this 3.6 meter ceiling height which gives you a lot of natural lights and breeze flowing right into this area. I love this transition space between the dining space, living and the dry kitchen and this gives you a good flow of space to mingle with your loved ones and your guests as well. So currently it's fitted with 6 seater dining set. I think this is perfect for a family setting. There's also an additional cabinetry that's done. This would be the space for you to put in your cutleries or plates while you dine in together. Solid marble top, it will be nice for you to put in some of your family photos also. Two huge mirror over here, floor to ceiling and it comes with LED light. The whole entire theme of this house is made up of a neutral and earth light material so it's very easy for you to fit in your furnitures. We have this pantry or we call this a dry countertop space for you to serve your food as well. It also comes inbuilt with microwave oven just right beneath and additional storage over here. And you have this designated space for you to put in a huge fridge. So if you love cooking, this would be the space for you to do your cooking because you have an enclosed kitchen. At the same time, you also have this see-through glass for you to interact with your guests or your family members or even watch your kids out there. So the sink has also been changed by the owners. This would be a great space for you to wash your pots and pans. And it comes with a cooker hood top and also an oven as well. For additional windows here, if you like to tell out any cooking smell, you can just literally open up. There's also space for your washer, come dryer, fitted neatly right over here. So coming into the living room, it's currently fitted with a ceiling fan, a designer piece light, and also two fan coils, great size ceiling, good airflow, and it gives you a lot of natural lights that flows right into this house. The flooring is 
made up of nice neutral grain that brings out the theme of this house. The living room is of great space. I think this would be a nice space for you to watch a nice movie with your loved ones. There's also more storage for you to place your items, a good sized TV area and also nice LED trimmings top and bottom as well. So I think this is a functional layout for the level 1. So now let's take a look at the best part of this house which is the balcony area. This balcony has the length of this whole entire living room and this gives you a wide view of this entire nature view and this serves like a painting of its own. So you have a good use of space between the indoor and outdoor space. It's wide in nature and it's also have a very good depth and you can literally have an outdoor setting right here to enjoy a nice alfresco dining. This balcony serves as two purposes. One is that you have your outdoor and indoor space while you open up this whole entire sliding door and the other option is for you to close up the sliding door and open up this area so that you can have an extended living room. Alternatively, if you like to, you can shift your dining space outside here and you can convert this into a second family area. So now let Sean show you the rest of this house. Before we head on up to level 2, let me share about the location as well as the amenities that you can find in Kingsford Water Bay. We are located at the Upper Serangoon View site and right beside the developments, you have your Aukang Cape View. So over there, you can find your NTC supermarkets, your hawker centres, as well as a few bread shops. And for Mega Malls, we are located close by to Nex, Compass One and you have your future Sinkang Grand Mall that is slated to be completed in the year 2023. And for drivers, we are located beside the KPE so that will take you to the Central Business District in under 20 minutes. It. And with the KPE, it also connects you to TPE which will then bring you to the eastern as well as the northern part of Singapore. And for schools wise, we have North Vistas and Pongo Primary Schools, CHIJ Lady of Nativity, Holy Innocent High School and North Vista Secondary School. So for facility wise, Kingsford Water Bay is a mega development project so you have six different zonings for the facilities. So in Zone 1, you have Fitness Corner, Sunset Pavilion, Zone 2, Barbecue Sun Deck, your Adventure Pool, Zone 3, a Lagoon Deck, Barbecue Pavilion, Zone 4, your rolling lawn, your function deck, zone 5, your meditation lawn, afternoon tea court area, and zone 6, the multi purpose room, the gym room, as well as the courtyard. So, with a wide array of facilities here at Kingsford Water Bay, the Strata 70, size at 1593 square feet, is only having a maintenance fee of $328 per month. So, we think that this is a very reasonable pricing for a Strata 70 home. So on level 2 staircase, you can find these very interesting steel structures over here. So these actually act as a ladder for you to enter your study loft space upstairs with wardrobe spaces and blinds installed in that corner. There's also a full height glass panels for natural light to come into the space. The area can be easily converted into a study space with the installation of a desk. So on level 2 itself, we can find this door and through this door, it will lead you directly to your facilities here. And in front of here, you have this stone structure water feature. So this space is essentially yours because it will only only be shared with your one other neighbour which is also a semi D status. Alright, so heading back in, this portion you can also find your second study loft space. So heading up, you can find that our owners have fitted a single size bed up there. So I think the space can also be converted into a gaming zone. So you can choose to install like a TV set, put a couple of bean bags in the area and it can be a very cosy space for your friends and family. Alright, so this loft space also has a certain level of functionality behind it because there are additional wardrobe spaces located in this corner as well as the steps leading towards top portion. So on this portion of the home, you can also find your common bathroom that services two bedrooms towards my side. The bathroom itself is very well maintained. You have a rain shower set on this corner uh, with two soap holders. The mirrors itself also have very functional purposes as they act as storage spaces right at the back. The sink area also has storage spaces at the bottoms for you to host all your toiletries. So in general, the bathroom areas have tons of storage spaces and it's still very well kept. So moving on to the common bedroom areas, the bedroom itself have high ceilings at about 3.3 meters and what the owners have installed here is a bunk bed concept which I think helps to fully utilize the high ceiling space. So over here, because of the bunk bed concept, it's almost segregated into two different portions. You have sort of your study area over here and on top is your resting area. So over there, you can fit a super singles bed in this corner. There is also blinds that has been installed for additional privacy and the wardrobe spaces, you can also find four panels of wardrobe space that stretches from the floor on 
all the way to the ceiling. It helps to maximize the space. There's also been a TV that's installed in this portion right over here. So in general, I think the utilization of space in this bedroom is very well thought of. So moving on to the second common rooms, they are of similar size, just mirror image of the other bedrooms that we have just seen. So on this bedroom itself, we have fitted a single size bed. A TV feature wall has been installed and a four panel of wardrobe spaces follows in this bedroom as well. So with this full height glass panel, it invites a lot of natural light into the space. And for additional privacies, the owners have also installed a day and night curtain at the side. So in this space, you can also choose to convert it into a queen size bed in this corner. If not, a single size bed with a study desk on this side fits perfectly as well. So before we head in to check out the last and final room, which is the master room, let us just touch a little bit more about the Strata Landed home here in Kingsford Water Bay. So in Kingsford Water Bay, there are two different types of Strata Landed homes, namely the terrace houses and the semi-dees. So the terrace houses are slightly larger in size at 1,625 square feet. So I think besides the size itself, we also have to look at the layout as well as the unit distribution here. So pulling out the side map, we can see that for the assemblies over here, we are also closely located to two side gates in the development. One that leads you towards the front portion as well as the back portion that connects you to the park connector. As for the terrace homes, they are located towards the further end of the developments. And as the name suggests for terrace house, you are located side by side towards your neighbours. Whereas compared to the semi-dees, we only have one adjoining neighbours and the other portion will face towards the greenery part. So diving deeper into the floor plans, we also can find some key differences between the terrace homes and the semi-dee here. So for the terrace home, you have an open concept kitchen with two additional PS spaces. Whereas the semi-dees, we have an enclosable kitchen with additional dry kitchen layout. So the semi-dees have one large patio space whereas compared to the terrace homes, there are two different smaller patio spaces in them. So stepping into the master entrance foyer, you will find a carpentry work done up on this side. So there's top to bottom carpentry spaces and a pocket over here for you to put probably your car keys or family portraits. Now these spaces right at the bottom over here can also very conveniently put your towels so you can just grab them and head on over to your bathroom which is just right beside. So the master bathroom has also a similar kind of design as the common bathroom. So this also serves as a very functional mirror because there are storage spaces right at the back so you can store all your toiletries or makeup products over here. So the master room has also four panels of wardrobe spaces so just take a look at the depth itself. So very good depth for you to house all of your formal clothing or formal dresses in this corner. There's also two pull-up drawers on this side and on the other panel of the wardrobe space you have just two additional pockets at the bottom. So the master room has been fitted with a king size bed in this corner so there are also additional carpentry spaces installed so there's a perfect space for you to house more of your casual clothing. Pocket spaces are also found along the wardrobe spaces so there has also been a TV console installed in this portion over here so I think in this home you do not have to fight over TV time with your kids. So for all of the three bedrooms they face us towards the northeast direction so this means that you do not get any of the afternoon suns and there is also additional blinds installed if you do require the additional privacy. So if you are considering this Strata semi-D here in Kingsford Water Bay, then I think there are some very interesting price point analysis for you to consider. So Kingsford Water Bay is a mega project of 1,165 units. Out of them, there are only 10 cluster homes and 8 of them have the terrace home status. Now 2 of them being like ours have the semi-D status over here. And if you were to take a look at the property movements in the surrounding, the recent new launch Riverfront cluster home have all been fully sold. So those are all snapped off the market space. And if you were to take a look further down at Parkwood Collection, a gorgeous just 99 years leasehold development over there, the cluster homes are having an asking price of 3.6 mil all the way to 4.8 million dollars. Now this is only natural because the sizes over there are ranging from 5,000 over square feet all the way to 6,000 over square feet. And at Coven, Coven Regency and 99 years cluster homes are being sold at 2.89 mil to 3.97 mil with sizes ranging from 3,700 square feet all the way to 3,800 over square feet. And if you were to look at the pure landed market at Po Huan Estate, you do have 99 years leasehold pure landed over here, you would then fully own the land and it gives you full command to redesign and rebuild the home to your own liking. The corner terrace homes over there are commanding an asking price of $2.38 million. Now these are more of the original form type which means that you would then have to spend an additional of 1 mil to 1.5 mil of rebuilding cost to redesign and to make this place towards your own liking. Now with our semi-D clusters here at Kingsford Water Bay, we have a balance lease of 92 years left and one of the many benefits that comes along with buying a strata semi-D homes is that the facade is 
taken care by the MCSD, which means that you do not have to worry much about the upkeep of the facade and with our unit, it offers more of a move-in condition home with 100k of renovation spent just a few years back. And all of this with just an asking price tag of 2.28 mil negotiable. So if you want more of a hassle-free process and you do not want to burst your budget beyond the 2.3 mil range to own a cluster semi-D home over here, then this may be something nice for you to consider. If you are looking for a strata semi-D in this area with closest proximity to the Sungai Shrangun with a nature view with 100k of renovation spent into this place with low money maintenance costs then this is the only strata semi-D here for you to consider. Do contact our listing managers for a physical viewing. My name is Shante, Adrian Lim, Property Lim Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. I think you gotta love this. Let's check it out. <laughs> Alright lah bro. So you have seven different zonings in terms of the physics. <laughs> Battery still alive, huh? Okay, can. Hey, what's this? Another one of the B rolls, lah. Please stop filming. Filming is very tough. <laughs>